Greetings. Then I just want to remind you that your thoughts create food. You see, many people are not quite aware of that. But as a reminder, I want you to look at nature. And you see that the divine law of reproduction is that every seed and every species must and will always reproduce after its own kind. And so when you realize that we're living in a mental world, and as you so, so shall you reap, then you will realize why the Bible says that as a man thinketh in his heart, I subconscious mind, so is he. Then you, did, you know that the heart is not speaking about the organ that pumps blood around the body. It is speaking about your vibratory being or essence, which is the first sign of life. So from there, you must vibrate on the right frequency, knowing that you are a mass of energy. And that's how you would bring forth your life, whichever way you want it to be. But unfortunately, most people are doing it unconsciously. That is why I'm showing you, uh, teaching you how to reproduce consciously. So, thoughts become things. But much people are unaware of how the results in their life is based on their psyche or their psychology or they think. And throughout the years, I've been teaching people how to understand that the Bible is a book of mind science and how it should be understood psychologically, uh, metaphysically, even esoterically. And most people believe that I am crazy and I've lost my mind. But my brother, my sisters, the rich man, the poor man, the beggar man, the thief is one mind. Is one power. But based on the choice you make, you get certain results. Okay? So, you have to rearrange your mind if you want to live life on your own terms. So, in order to do that, I would definitely encourage you to be willing to unlearn and relearn and then reprogram your subconscious mind. It's the only way. So, my brother and my sisters, be more responsible for your mind because you're the one who are producing the fruit. The fruit is your personality. We look at the different trees, whether is it a mango tree, whether is it an apple tree, they all are bringing forth the life that is within them. Same thing with you. So we are actually naked upon this planet before each other when we understand how the mind really works. It's only those who are self-righteous and religious. They are the only people who are actually fooling themselves and being hypocrites. But those of us who understand how the mind works and those of us who understand that the Bible is all psychological, those of us who understand that we're living in a mental world, we know that we have to be responsible for our thoughts and our actions. We know that we are conscious creators. Therefore, we must create our life whichever way we want it to be. We understand cause and effect. We do not look at the effects and blame a devil or an entity outside of ourselves. We know that there is always a lot of polarity, but we have a choice. We know that there is light and there is darkness, but we have a choice. And we understand how important there is to have a balance. Everything operates on a balance. So my brother, my sisters, as I come to a close here, I want to say to you, what fruits are you willing to bring forth? Are you going to bring forth fruits of mediocrity? Are you going to bring forth fruits of doubt and fear and guilt and shame and condemnation? Or are you going to bring forth fruit of creativity? Fruit to uplift all of humanity? 
fruit of greatness, fruit of contribution, walking with the law of contribution. The choice is yours. Okay, so with that being said, my brother, my sister, I want to thank you very much for listening to me. I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you're listening to me and what I'm saying, if it makes sense to you and it resonates with you and you have a subscriber already, I definitely want to encourage you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram and you'd like to follow me on TikTok, you can follow me at Black Mad Guru. And I want to encourage you to get my latest book. It's called Spiritual Recipe for Better Living. And so, if you want to live a better life, if you want to live a more fulfilling life, I'll definitely encourage you to partake of those recipes that is there. Okay, the Bible become a different book for you when you read the spiritual recipe that I'm giving to you by teaching you the Bible metaphysically, esoterically, and teaching you how to understand the Bible psychologically. So, the choice is yours. Also, if you'd like to be a part of my Patreon community, you're most welcome. There's a lot of good information available on my Patreon community. However, there's a course for those who are donating 20 and more dollars. It's called the Innocent Science and Technology to Create Your Reality Consciously. And along with that is a bonus course on self-concept. So if you feel strongly led to listen to those videos, I'll definitely encourage you to do so. However, just before I leave you, I just want to remind you that if you feel strongly led, to support this work, I just want to remind you that we have a PayPal and that the link is always down below. Also, if you'd like to do a one on one with me, you can reach out to me by way of email and I give you the terms and conditions and we see where we go from there. So, with that being said, my brother and my sisters, I just want to say peace, love you all, I'm out.